Um, I got asked how to make a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Zumo candle flame, so I will show you as quickly as I can. Uh, first, make two layers. Turn your first layer black. And on the second layer, we want to do a flare. So we switch to white here. Get a brush. 3D. And do the very first flare. Up our flow all the way, <coughs> up diameter all the way. Place it close to the bottom like this. And do oh, four strikes, sounds good. Then filter, distort, twirl. And this is just basic, this isn't necessarily a great flame or anything, but it will help. Um, sort of an abstract flame, how's that? Push OK. Let's erase that part and that that we created there. Now let's go ahead and do filter, distort, twirl one more time. OK. And let's move it. And if you've if you've watched some of my, or looked at some of my pictures, you'll see that I've done this particular flame quite a few times. When I went to build a flame in Sumo without having to, uh, um, you know, switch over to Photoshop or whatever. And, really quickly, let's go ahead and bend this. Use our curve tool so we can kind of really manipulate here. Pull that up. Take this side. Get it over, and we're just trying to form a candle flame, basically. And as you can see, I'm never very perfect with this stuff. I just kind of do what I can. Okay, well, that looks sort of good, I guess. Um, not really, but we'll go ahead and from here, hue and saturation, colorize. Of a flame color here. Up the saturation. Okay. One more time. And I've got more of a flame kind of color. Now, let's go ahead and see if radial blur works here. It doesn't usually, but we'll try it. Sometimes it helps kind of push stuff up though. That sort of helps. Let's say okay. And filters blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, actually, I didn't break it that blur. Filters blur, Gaussian blur, low. Yeah, I think that's fine. Excuse <coughs> my voice today. And one more time to manipulate a bit. Oops. The part I have a hard time. You know what? In fact, I think I've got too many. doing is just sort of shaping it how I think a candle flame sort of looks. This might not be your ideal candle flame, as it really isn't mine, but um, it's good for on the fly. Switch back over to this one. Go ahead and shorten her up a bit, move her over like this. And I don't know, that looks pretty good really. Um, adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize. Actually, let's not colorize it, let's put it back over here. Saturation. Sometimes just duplicating the layer, kind of flare it up even more, and kind of have it there. And then, oops, crap! Let's burn that down. And just so you can see a way to use it, let's take this, build another layer here, we'll make it all white. Take that layer, filter, do the effect cylinder, and. Shrink this a bit. Looks more like a candlestick. Paint, shorten, focal point, just make it so it doesn't quite so. Um, scale, center scale. Push OK. And we'll kind of adjust. Even saturation. tools, make it white, just draw a line right down it, take that line and blur it, oops, crap, I'm supposed to do that on a different layer, hang on, take that back, another layer, take your line tool, in fact I'm going to bump up the pixels a little bit to 
15 or 16, whatever that just was. Draw your line tool. Now we'll go ahead and blur it. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. That looks good. Then we'll take the candlestick again. Adjustments, hue, saturation. Saturation will turn down, but we're going to darken it just so you can kind of see that sort of pearlescent look of a of a candle here. Alrighty, then we just move it down. Oh, we should merge down that line, huh? So you merge that down. Now, move this down. And there you have it. I'll go ahead and shrink this one a bit so it looks a little bit more natural. And we can also go ahead and blur it again just to. Oops, wrong layer. See, I can't do a short tutorial, I just don't know how. And just let's get saturation. Turn that saturation a bit just so it looks a little bit more like a natural flame. And just to highlight it, we'll take the back layer, put a pump map on it. <coughs> Turn down the light intensity a bit. up a bit so it looks like it's the flame and then just adjust the color and that's it there you have it a sumo flame which uh, you can do a lot better if you just play longer with it I'm trying to make this video short so but you could go ahead and shape it you can smudge it and really get more flames going you can double it up and kind of mix it up and make a bunch of fire there's all sorts of things that you can do so just because you don't have Photoshop or GIMP but you want to make fire within sumo it's easy so anyway have a good time thanks guys bye